březnu 1939 obsadilo nacistické Německo zbytky Československa. Vládcem nad vyhlášeným protektorátem Čechy a Morava se později stal Reinhard Heydrich, prominentní nacista a jeden z hlavních strůjců holokaustu. 27. května 1942 provedli českoslovenští parašutisté na Heydricha úspěšný atentát. Odveta byla brutální. Více než 1500 lidí bylo popraveno, 3000 židů byly poslány do koncentračních táborů. Nacisté vyhladili české obce, lidice a ležáky. Protektorátu zavládl strach. everybody, Flash Rasman here with a little look at a game called Attentat 1942. And as you can see from the graphics, it's set in the Second World War. So let me just mute the volume a little bit. I'm turn the volume right down. Attentat 1942 is a historically accurate adventure about World War II. First, more dilemmas and ex existential struggles as you uncover the troubled past of your family. So, you're, so it's, set as, it's set, I think you're in the modern day looking back at what happened around the assassination of Ryan, uh, of Heydrich in Czechoslovakia in 1942. But anyway, I've turned the volume down. This has been out, it's been out, it's been out a while on the PC since 2017. But I think it's either recently gone to the dinner touch switch or it's going to the switch. Let's hit play. The game is based on historical research on real testimonies, yet the characters in the game and their stories are fictitious. Prague 2001. I've been to Prague, it's a beautiful city. It's a really, really beautiful city, Prague is. I have not played this game at all, so going in new together. Ahoj, nezapomeň se večer stavit za babičkou, potřebuje pomoc s tím balením. A stěhováci přijedou už zítra ráno. Já jdu za dědou do nemocnice. Máma. I'll try my best not to talk over the talking bits. Ludmila Jelenkova, your grandmother, lived in Prague throughout the war. Escape to pause game will open the encyclopedia. So it's like live action essentially, very interesting. Okay. We're going to throw out this radio, aren't we? No one is no one is going to listen to it. That's a cool radio, can I keep it? Ew. Okay. Prague, Vinhardy, 1942. Put it down for a minute. Could you help me for a bit? Press and continue to enter or click on the comic bubble. Okay. Doorbell's ringing, question mark. Who's there? Calm down, it's someone from the office. You know, you, you know, you, they know you've taken the day off. I don't like it. Have you gone mad? Such noise, such noise, jazz music, such noise, jazz music right now? Huh? Don't you know what happened? Turn on the radio. 
27th of May or 10.30 a.m. The Deputy Reich Spot Protector Police General S. S. Gripper, Oman Gripper Fuhr, Ryan Hydrick was assassinated. Oh my god. From his direction of Paniski, Bresni in his car. This is district of Strara, Liban. He turned on to the Yacht Hall and read that. I'm not going to push the check language. You know the car tried to shoot at it. Percy sitting in the car with an automatic pistol. Per Meanwhile, the second one exploded, the car exploded upon him. After the assassination, one of the men escaped via the Kirchmayer over street to yeah, heading towards town. The other photo of Norway, the bike prepared, to, prepared for the escape. The star of the neighborhood, put it with a man of medium size wearing a dark red clothes and a dark hat. The other photo is wearing a dark, possibly dark brown clothes and brown shoes. A reward of 10 million crowns has been offered for any information for any, for many citizens. That leads to the capture of the perpetrators. From what I know of this, it is limited. I, I think it was a British SOE operation using Czech expats or Czech emigres to their own assassin. I think it was a British, British organised and British run operation using using Czech either emigres, military or something. I don't know if all about it, but I do know that it was a it was a sizable sizable victory for the Allies, but a terrible for what happened to the Czechs afterwards. Oh my God! The right aspect to Heydrich. He's been assassinated, I can't believe it. I'm hoping I've got the volume settings right. I don't know that. I'm terrified they will seek revenge in a terrible way. Someone banging on the door. Police. Terror, as you'd expect. The leaflets. Hide them. I will store the Kasapa. Okay. Hiding the leaflets. You only have a few seconds to hide the leaflets. Okay. You must decide where Limbilla will hide the leaflets. Use this spot to hide them and click on the different objects. Uh, I took the books from the bookcase one after another and carefully uh, uh, leafed through all of them. Fortunately, I hid the leaflets elsewhere. You don't get any coin. Okay. Okay. I had him in the wrong place. Then. Do pokoje začali na mě křičet německy. Já jsem se začala bát. Oni otevřeli křiny, začali všechno vyhazovat. Pak dědu odvedli. Já jsem know. si nikdy nemyslel, že ho vidím. I must not see him until after. I didn't know that I would not see him until after the war. I just didn't kill him anyway. Game objective. Find out why Gestapo arrested Grandpa. Figure out what Grandpa had to do with Hydrick's assassination. The leaflets were a clue. Did they find the leaflets? So the gas up I just bust in for no reason. Uh, what do you want? What did did they find the leaflets? Letáky naštěstí nenašli. Já jsem je dobře schovala. Byli to proti německý letáky z války. Dal je mu nějaký kamarád Matyáš Grejcar. Bydlel tady někde na Vinohrade. Já už okay. vůbec nevím, jestli ještě žije. Pošlo, jestli jde. Kde jsou ty leafy? Nevím, jestli je náhodou. Děda je měl někde tak věce schované, je tam někde. Já se budu podívat, já se budu podívat. I like this old lady. I like the picture, I like that as well. I do like this, I do like, I am thoroughly enjoying this. Okay. Belonging to Jindrich Jelenek, your grandpa's belong belongings of Jin Jindrich Jelenek. I apologize if I'm butchered some of these names. So we that's obviously a concentration camp coloured hat, because say what stripe uniforms are. Like so we've got a paper. Okay, do we click on stuff? 
Kampfmarsche. The first Kampfmarsche was locked up in a small fortress in Tezerin. And then transported him to Auschwitz and finally ended up in Buchenwald. I've actually visited Buchenwald and Auschwitz. It's not a pleasant place. Not, not a pleasant place at all. Yeah, it's yeah, it's a. Uh, if you ever, if yeah, if you ever in Poland or that neck of the woods, it's it's worth a visit just because it's like, oh my God, it's yeah. Fact of death. I tell you that something terrible is happening in the concentration camps. We didn't know. Okay. Uh, they wrote about the grandpa uh, and Hass Revolution, the voice of the revolution. This was a newspaper of the Union of Anti Fascist Fighters. Grandpa okay. Fizzle Letters, okay. We used to receive cards in the mail with orders explaining where and how often we could send, send stuff. A letter back to his family members in the camps, okay. I could send Grandpa back if I had to plan everything in advance. Okay. What to get, how to get it, or to save him things from my own rations. Wow. Always the biggest problem, they were rationed, but only some men. Okay. I always had to beg some friend or relative to give me a few. That's in this way I could help Grandpa a little. That interests me. So they wrote about him in some newspaper. So it's clear something to the revolution. Well, after the war, he joined the fascist. He helped this woman he met in Bakula, Maria Chekanova, who needed, who needed confirmation that she had been in the camp, so they would see, say she would receive reparations. He just helped to arrange a visit to a health spa, and she sent him this postcard from there. Okay, that's interesting. This woman is. Uh, and that Let's is. Okay. 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 He stayed there for some time even after he was liberated. We turned sometime in June 45. I set up a hospital in the liberated camp. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's a frightening place. Grandpa met a Roma, Roma girl from Czechoslovakia. Then with me a chicken over. Okay. So we've already heard about her in the postcard. Grandpa's alive. Poor girl, the gym's killed almost her entire family. Okay. I'm tired, let's leave it for some other time, okay? Plenty to look at there, plenty to think about. Fashion gained. Except for the Grandpa during the war. Grandpa's hiding anti gym leaflets in the apartment. Grandpa's friend was from the army. Gave him the leaflets, okay. So we basically, I think he was in the resistance of some kind. So, coin zero, Jabonkings, Grandpa, Krejar, Lidmi, Grandma, Sack on there. Hmm. The obvious place would be to go to get to him. Yeah, requested to be joined by the Gestapo during the war. Oh, he's in a... okay. He's in hospital. Okay. Hi, Grandpa. I love how this live, ac this live action is recorded. I think it's fantastic. It's re the acting is good, so, you're not, you, you, so it's not like you're watching a home video. So we can't speak to him. Fair enough. Let's go to him first, because he's the guy you give him the leaflets. Let's get to him first. Uh, Grandpa's army buddy, member of the resistance movement during the war. Great, sir. Hello, this is Krish Kar. Krish Kar. What can I do for you? Did you live in Vinhadi during the Nazi occupation? Can I ask you about your past? 
pro boha, co to na mě zkoušíte, chápu, že si musíte nějak na sebe vydělávat, ale to je moc, to je moc. Dneska už mi dvakrát volali kvůli nějakým slevám pro důchodce. Jednou pojištění, po druhé zase slevy na telefon, okay. takže s Bohem. OK, that went well. OK, that was not a good start, was it then? Let's try this one then. Yeah, that was, that was a bit of a blow. OK. I do like the way she's recorded. Hello. Can I speak with me, Marie Chernev? If I'm butchering, so I really I do do apologise. What do you want with her? Do I have something about my grandpa's past? I already knew him. He knew my grandpa. Bohužel není she's not home. Dobrý Maybe try again tomorrow. Okay. What's going on here then? Dum de dum de dum. Okay, so we're back to grandma then, are we? But we've done so well so far, have we? Uh, how did grandpa get the Gestapo distracted? Why did they. Did they look after grandpa? What, uh, what did you do after they took grandpa away? Good afternoon. Gehemi Stats Polasai Polasai. Again I am butchered, I apologise. Uh Jelenic. Are you alone? Gustavo's the general had to come up with something quickly to preoccupy then. No. Uh, my wife is in the bedroom. Uh, she clean up. And you can come in. No wife in the bedroom, she'll have to come in, use the symptoms. You didn't pay attention to whether the pot was clean, and they certainly didn't need to be invited in the grandma. Pa said I was getting dressed, they held them, that held them for a while, I had, and I had time to hide leaflets. We didn't get any coin. Why would you coin? I don't know. But we didn't get any again. Okay. Then my wife is in the bedroom while, while wait while she's dressing. Okay, maybe not. Fire, he'll link way up. House search. Guess type of bullshit for no reason. Yeah. To bylo takhle. Happened go point uh I was on the trip back to Melanick to my parents. Oh, uh, Grandpa was going to stop a pair of tickets. to pick up something up. So we went to a friend, and the friend offered to grab it for him. It was large food was rushing during the war. And Grandpa got back early. And the Sassay happened, and it was terrible. And Grandpa showed up, took Grandpa, and the Gestapo showed up and took Grandpa, and then I him away. And what happened in this apartment? Uh, happened. Uh, after the package, hard to say. I never thought about it. His friend probably kept it. Of course, Grandpa had nothing to do with it, but they were angry, locking up everyone. He was a neighbour. I have no idea what led him to Grandpa, no one ever fished and explained the reason. Grandpa never told you exactly why I arrested him. After we had completely different concerns. 
easy seeing on I didn't want to speak about any of the bad, that bad stuff, understandable. To víš, na to špatně se špatně vzpomíná, ale things. on si psal denní, já to ani nevěděla, a ty jsem tam něco hledala, já jsem to it, tam našla v jeho things. věcech. OK, interesting. Diary, gone past like 38 to 42. Mm. Okay. 38. Okay. Diary is encrypted. Move parts of the code to find the combination letters that make the text legible. Oh. Uh, okay. Uh. This could be a difficult. One got a second. These are D there, no, there's not. What's that? I said, I've probably got what changes what here. So, what changes the first word? The bottom one doesn't change the first word. Does that change the first word? That changes the first word. Right, so let's start with... This is, uh, this is what hard this is. Okay. I'm trying to see if, I'm trying to work out what the first letter of that, of that word is up there. I hope it's in blinking English. I'm going bother with an aim. In... I'll tell what stuff stuff. Mm. I have absolutely zero clue how to do this, I'm terrible at stuff thing. I'm I'm gen generally useless at stuff stuff. Because these these changes some of these. Changes that's not that one. Which I'm looking for what changes is why here. Uh, not that one. It's going to be this middle one, isn't it? And that's what changes you now. So, alright, so that becomes y. A equals y. So, A equals y. No, it doesn't, so it's now changed to E. A equals... So that's Y's come up. A equals Y, so I need to put the Y on the A. That becomes E. I. Uh, so A is A. Then if I go that way, comes E. Then it comes I. A equals I. I. Okay. I froze when I. Oh, I've got it. I've got it. I've got it. I've got it. I think I've got it. I forgot something anyway. Right. So I froze. So if we just go back this one. So, yesterday, so we need that to be an S, so S is the B. So if I go yesterday, yesterday the call to arms was finally given. I phrase when I realised to, to the voice, okay, diary. I cracked it. I went to summer today with Egon. We caught complex film the white disaster it was probably the most intensive experience i've ever watched watching a movie it inspired me to write that some things hopefully i'll never forget what copac was trying to say how precise this story expressed was not just my own thoughts feelings but the crazy times we live in right now and the mood in the movie that after it felt as if the audience shared one mind as we all understood exactly what the film was trying to tell us you know i said it out loud in the film an unknown country led by an evil dictator called the marshal invades a small neighboring country 
to the south, everyone in the city knew, of course, that the marshal is supposed to be Hitler and the other country is Germany. And then it was Czechoslovakia. And more importantly, it's pretty obvious what the Germans, not needs to be done to the Germans, we must find a nation for the German white disaster. In the words of De Martin, one of the characters in the film, echoes, we are small, only a small nation, that is why we must defend ourselves. If someone were to attack us, I would grab a gun and fight them, we all must fight. Okay. Father, I cannot sit around and watch uh, what's happening in Prague. Father is pressuring me to graduate high school and lead a respectable life. He wants to arrange some jobs for me at the post office. How the hell am I supposed to sit around and stare at the water from a service window in the post office, especially as the Austrians enthusiastic welcome Hitler like a hero? My friend Joe Claudia gave up on the respectable life and left for Spain over a year to fight against Franco and his fascists in the Civil War. Unfortunately, I'm only 18 and I can't join the army for two more years. That could be too late. I can join as a volunteer, but I need permission from my father. As a strange coincidence, I ran into Colonel Emmanuel Moravec while crossing the man's bridge. I could see his bald, shiny head from a long way off, and I took this as a sign. I walk, woke up, I worked up the course to speak to him. I told him I wanted to join him as a volunteer, but my father's position on, and my father's position on the matter. He's interested in my story and asked me how I f uh, why I felt so strong about joining the army. This made me kind of upset. Uh, I said that everyone knows why, especially after reading this, uh, his articles. He seemed pretty happy to meet such an enthusiastic fan. He wants to speak to my father, even wrote down our address and phone number. I guess we'll see. I wonder if that's how they got the address and phone number then. Yesterday. Yesterday they finally did it. We're mobilising for war. I suppose when I heard the voice on the radio, then it became clear to me that we were really going to fight and that meant we could die. We entered the military training camp in Smikov. As, vol as volunteers, Lieutenant Korba quickly get made us into soldiers. It hasn't been easy, especially I went to sc I wanted to, sc want to scream at him, but at the end of the day I'm happy to build his command because it means I get to find the Republic in this time of need. In my, I spend my day switching between a rifle and a clarinet. It would never have occurred to me that a musical instrument and a weapon could be so familiar, thin figures made of wood and steel. Sometimes the evening after we have dinner, I have enough time to strength to play with the guys in the dorm. We play mostly patriotic tune and folk music, folk songs. All the time I spend playing with my jazz band in the high school previews after all. After years of playing Hello Lola by Glenn Miller, folk songs are a piece of cake. And to be honest, I must enjoy playing them more than, uh, more than swing. They're close to my heart. Basic trains almost over in a couple of days will be assigned to our units. There are a lot of good young men here. Kretschkar, for example. Here you go, that's his army friend. We came close during the sniper practice and later when we learned how to load machine guns. I hope we'll be in the same unit. It's almost, we're still in barracks. The humiliation is almost a bear, but England and France have handed us over to Hitler. I can't even believe it. When I heard the news, I ran straight straight to Lieutenant Corber, who was standing in the front in the front of the radio with tears running down his face. He looked up at me in silence. I'll never forget those tears and the silence of the outrage felt against those who abandoned and betrayed us. Those who forced us to accept the humiliation of the so-called Munich Pact. This is almost shall always be a day of national mourning, horror, and humiliation. That was a Munich Agreement when Chamberlain met Hitler, and Hitler promised he'd only take over the Sudetenland parts of Czech Republic. And then probably evaded them because again might be wrong on this but the czechs had a very very strong uh, fortified border that if the germans were to attack it would have been a very different would have been very difficult but then i think hit uh when the sound that when this and also there was a lot of thought that the germans were also would if they invade the czech republic czechoslovakia rather that the british and the allies would become involved in the war but when they signed the went but when Chamberlain signed the Munich Agreement, where Hitler promised not to do anything else other than take off Sudetenland, that's when the Germans knew they could just go for it. Anyway. Never mind, I've been officially discharged from volunteer so I was useless there anyway. I've no idea what to do now. I can't go to my life as normal as nothing happened. Everywhere I look I see hopelessness and defeat. People avoid looking at one another. The enthusiasm my felt that someone's completely gone. Yesterday, after what felt like forever, I spent some time playing with my buddies from old school band. Fit not always eager to want all the eager on signs up to play the medical students' ball. He had a lot of new friends in the med school now. I think he wants to show off and press the girls. I didn't fill up for a performance, but Egon talked me Egon talked me into it. In the end, it turned out to be a rather pleasant evening, at least for a little while. I was able to forget one of those all those what's gone around us. One of the girls, Freya Fitner, was chasing after 
uh, one of the girls, ch- f- uh, girls Fitner was chasing after was, well, was really cool. Egon tried to woo her with her, his extensive knowledge of movies, but it didn't work. Surprisingly, she was looking instead at me. So we danced and talked for a while. It was so also natural. That's going to, we're going to see each other again today. Her name is Lydmilla. April 13th. We're still in 1939. This is hell of a day, isn't it? Okay, let's just skip to 42. Let's just skip to 4. Part me think if I don't read all this, I might miss something. Let's just skip to 42. Do, 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 do. The band is special place in the soul festival pedal. Um, the My Tile left it on Monday. The Germans fared us from entertain at Sabbath in May Day, but Lid Miller and I did just so anyway. We took a short trip to Rip, Hall, Rip Hill. Uh, and the Sunrise Rip is always a pretty important place for checks, according to legend. It's the place where early census first settled. Moonlight took a leaf from Matthew's laurel leaf as a souvenir. Okay. So look, I'm devastated. Uh, Lila was happily planning our perfect future. And today I'm devastated. If only I'd hadn't taken a domestic bliss for granted yesterday. It all stuck at Angle and Miller because she didn't want to go to Jan Blatt's funeral. It was a bad fight. And today the Germans mur- German murderers closed Lyndon Miller's university allegedly for three years. But we'll see about that. Okay, move out of her dorm and doesn't know where to go. And if we don't find something soon, she'll have to go back to her hometown in the middle of nowhere. It seems that solved this problem by chance Lyndon volunteer an acquaintance of hers from Melanick, some guy named City Hill. Typist, okay. No, they uh, believe that all are awful things you can smell at the post office. Okay. Uh, today I went to visit at work, so I'll stand in. Have a beautiful name that sounds. Okay. Today, okay, flowers, three weeks later, do, 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 do. So they've got married, okay, I'm just skim reading this. A couple of thousand, mm hmm. Acquaintances, uh, once again, delivered the old man. Such a patron, patron look on his face as he talks on your pump. Honestly, I don't want to know how he managed to avenge all this. His acquaintance probably pushed to the, was, uh, pushed his topless weight in, uh, skipping loads of needy people all along, along the way. I hope no one becomes suspicious at the post office that, uh, I'm into saving business, okay? Unpleasant business to live with our neighbour, Mr. Malek. He's one of those ass kisses who has uh, figured out how he, how to live with a proper had figured out how to live a proper German life. He claims that I'm breaking our nightly curfew by playing the clarinet, and even worse, I'm playing horrid Negro music. Oh, I wonder if he's got. I wonder if that's the guy that knocked on the door, or if he's got something to do with him being arrested. Anyway, who knows where where he heard it? I said, fine. Instead of bothering you with my horrid music, we'll switch to the legal broadcast from London. And we'll, <laughs> yeah. He's going to be Portstick stuff. Apparently, he has relatives who are interested in our apartment. So, dear Dow, should I apologise to Malek for that chance? What would we live in? In today, the media invented for sharing truth. Today, secret German, well in the world of viewing people interchange under constant pressure. The lists were changing. We should stand face to face for the lies. Do, 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 do. Like 42. Today I listen to a Bolton, okay, beach with the radio, he's a different man now. If I can cut, even call him up, can I believe, sometimes I actually admired him. So he's in this garbage about Hitler's Thousand Year Reich. So he sold that to the Germans. Which I has to do, 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 do. we thought no one could beat us. Okay. Oh, okay. This part I'm not sure what makes sense to bring children into the world. Perhaps I should take advantage of the fact we don't have children yet. I focus a bit on... More of my efforts on the anti-German resistance. Perhaps I should even get married. Shouldn't have got married at all. Maybe I have left the country like the resistance fighters in London. Basically, people just go to a bar and get drunk and grumble. And satisfy my long... I satisfy my long service by listening to legal podcasts. Others can use the excuse that they have children and don't want to endanger their families. But what about me? Maybe I should do something like the third... The resistance fighter. I, I, sh- I make, should, have, should make contact with him and figure out... Oh... Okay. Today an unpleasant thing happened at lunchtime and I got back into the back of the car and I kind of looked on Revolution Street right after I sat down of a class a familiar old face 
my uh, my friend he's sitting ahead of me in the first car it's been a long time since the days played the, uh, he played in the band I jumped off the tram and I jumped on what uh, right up to him I said hello tended to recognize me when I refused to go and he got angry tried to push him away it occurred to me that maybe he was angry because I'd forgot to invite him to my wedding I felt bad about that and so I started thinking about realized that I shouldn't see him up I lost I seen a lot less after the after the wedding so I was glad to see him now we really didn't understand what I'd got into when he jumped off the tram and next I was looking about and then I decided to follow him then I just then I then and then just as I caught up with that it occurred to me okay okay that says why I don't speak to you mate he hang on to do deported who knows where he did a lot that I'm his friend, but he was scared nonetheless. He had already received the call that he was to be deported and he would completely lost at sea. He didn't even have the f forged documents. Of course, he recognised me on any private. He admitted as much. He didn't want to cause me any trouble and still see he could depart ways. Nasty was shivering, so I gave him my coat and explained how desperate he was. Gave him a spare train ticket and all the money in my wallet. Uh, what will I tell Ludmilla? I went to see the third. You know somebody who could help me. They were nice to me at the police station as if they knew what I was after. All good checks would unite either neither the gyms nor the club, but I think like my neighbour Malik would stand a chance against us. We'll meet with the every other week on Wednesdays at the old spot. I've heard I talk about it for the Miller. Meeting with E is done for exchange is complete. It's crazy day, I've heard not to think about it. Like I'm to the middle notes or something. She probably thinks that I'm either another woman or a guy who needs to look after out for the Gestapo, but he also needs to be careful around his woman. Miller's reading a newspaper today. Okay. Again, the same sort of stuff over. Do, do, do. Okay, I'm trying to. See, I'm just skim reading it. That's a diary. Okay, so basically, it was acting active in moving people from the resistance. Okay, we'll come back to that diary. That could be useful. Okay, diary. Could you go back to? Let's just ask about the diary. Diary. He writes about Jewish friend named Mister E. Do you know who he was? Annoying neighbour. Yes, Mr. Malak, who lives next door. During the way, he kissed up to the Germans. I wrote articles for them in the newspaper. I felt like he was completely watching, constantly watching his special grandpa. As a Gestapo grandpa, he returned to Mr. 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 Malak too. He was with them for a while, Lord knows what, he was, what they were doing. Af then, after the war, he was accused of being a collaborator. Hard to say, I don't know why he would do that. In what time, everything is possible. I see him on stairs from time to time, that's enough for me. He's still there. I would have thought that I dealt with him in no uncertain way. And if his grandpa planned to travel to Berna to illegally purchase rations, eh, that's yes, that was a lot. Didn't go to Berna, but his friend did. Grandpa, grandma thinks her name Malik denounced to the Gestapo. Grandpa didn't have anything to do with. Okay, Grandpa's friend doesn't gave him leaflet. Why they arrested him? Okay. Joseph Malik. I'm surprised. I would have thought collaborators back then would have been dealt with in no uncertain terms. You have his neighbour worked as a journalist at the Protectorate newspaper during the war. Joseph Malik. What do you want? My grandma said you were questioned by the Gestapo during the war and had something to do with my grandfather. I may ask a question about what happened. You betrayed my grandfather to the Gestapo. Is that true? Do you know, is that true? That's probably, that's probably a bit off. That's probably, uh, yeah. That's probably a poor choice. Denies, he denounced it. Yeah, of course he would. He's not going to admit it, is he? Cat mini games. Repeat the interview. Uh, let's repeat the interview. This one court repeat interview. Oh. Continue. I think I'm going to leave it just there. This is absolutely a fascinating little game. This is brilliant. I thoroughly, I thoroughly enjoyed this. Let me know if you've played it. It's, like said, it's been around a while, but this is one of those type of games. It's ageless. That's fascinating. I thoroughly enjoyed that. 
again, you only ever see live action with the video games, you always kind of get a word where it's going to be really, really ambitious really dodgy, but it's really, really good. And it's in a fascinating, it's, a, it's set in a fascinating time of history. So basically, we're trying to work out what the grandfather's, what he had to do with Heinrich's assassination, what he did during the war, and how he got nicked. But anyway, that's fascinating. I thought enjoyed. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you want to, if you want me to come back to this because I've thoroughly enjoyed it. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed that because I certainly did, and I shall see you in the next one. Thanks very much. Bye.